Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of Digital Logic Design and today we will study about the multiplexers. A multiplexer is a combination circuit that selects binary information from one of the many input lines direct it to a single output line. Like if we have multiple sources of information and we have to use information from a single source only then for this purpose we will use the multiplexer. The selection of a particular input line is controlled by a set of selection line. Normally, we have two power n input lines and corresponding to the input lines, we have n selection line, whose bit combination determines which input has to be selected. The simplest example of a multiplexer is a relay system. As we have studied that a multiplexer provides selection between multiple data lines and this can also be a multiple voltage sources. If you look at the circuit diagram in which two sources are present, one is of 5 volt and second is of 12 volt. Then here we can use the multiplexer to choose between 5 volt and 12 volt depending on the condition with the help of a single select line. And in this case, this action is performed through a magnetic coil. The normally closed terminal of a relay is attached with 5V and normally open terminal is attached with 12V. If the device runs with 5V then normally closed terminal will be used and whenever 12V are required at output then we will use normally open terminal. So in this case a multiplexer acts like an electronic switch that select one of the two voltage sources. Now for a digital system, a 2 to 1 line multiplexer connect one of the two 1 bit sources to a common destination as shown in the figure. The circuit diagram has two data input lines, one output line and one selection line. Because two data lines are equal to 2 power 1, so we will have one selection line. The data lines are connected to two AND gates and their output is OR to provide a single output. The select line act as a second input of the AND gate. This select line is provided complemented to the first AND gate and uncomplemented to the second one. So whenever S equals to 0, the upper AND gate is enabled and I0 has a part to the output. And when S equals to 1, the lower AND gate is enabled and I1 has a part to the output. Because if one input of the AND gate is equal to 1, then its output is equal to the second input. The block diagram of a multiplexer is sometimes depicted by a wedge shaped symbol as shown in the figure. The multiplexer has two input data lines which are represented by I0 and I1 and connected to 0 and 1 terminal of the multiplexer. It has one selection line and one output line represented by Y. The figure suggests visually how a selected one of multiple data sources is directed to single destination. The multiplexer is often labeled as MUX within a block diagram. Now after 2 to 1 line multiplexer, we will study a 4 to 1 line multiplexer which is shown in the figure. In this case, we have 4 data inputs from I0 to I3 and each of the data input is connected or applied to one of the AND gate. As we have 4 data input lines, so 4 is equal to 2 square and in this case we will have 2 selection lines. The selection lines S1 and S0 are decoded to select a particular AND gate. The output of the AND gates are applied to a single OR gate that provide the one line output. The function table lists the input that is passed to the output for each combination of the binary selection value. And the selection table for 4 to 1 line multiplexer is shown here. And it says that if S1 and S0 both have a value of 0, then I0 will be provided at the output. And if S1 is equal to 0 and S0 equals to 1, then I1 will be provided at the output. Similarly, if S1 equals to 1 and S0 equals to 0, I2 will be provided and if both are 1s, then I3 will be provided to the output. Now to demonstrate the operation of the circuit, consider the case when S1 equals to 1 and S0 equals to 0. The truth table says that I2 data line will be provided at the output. 
Now the AND gate associated with the input I2 has two of its input equal to one and the third input is connected to I2. While the other three AND gates have at least one input equal to zero, which makes their output equal to zero. The output of the OR gate is now equal to the value of I2 providing a path from selected input to the output. And due to this feature, the multiplexer is also known as a data selector since it selects one of the many inputs and steers the binary information to the output line. The AND gates and the inverters in the circuit diagram of a multiplexer resemble a decoder circuit and indeed they decode the selection input lines. In general, a 2 power N to 1 line multiplexer is constructed with N to 2 power N decoder by adding 2 power N input lines to it, one line to each AND gate. And then the output of the AND gates are applied to a single OR gate for the output of multiplexer. The size of multiplexer is specified by the number 2 power n of its data input line and a single output line, where the n selection lines are impiled from the 2 power n data lines. As in case of decoders, multiplexer may have an enable input to control the operation of the unit. Whenever the enable input is in inactive state, the outputs are disabled and when it is active, the circuit function as a normal multiplexer function. The multiplexer circuits can be combined with common selection input to provide a multiple bit selection logic. For example, we have a quadruple 2 to 1 line multiplexer as shown in the figure. The circuit has four multiplexer, each capable of selecting one of the two input lines. Like we have two inputs A and B and both are of 4 bits. A is equal to A3, A2, A1 and A0 while B is equal to B3, B2, B1 and B0. And for the selection of single bit among this 4 bit number, we will use 4 2 to 1 line multiplexers. The output Y0 can be selected to come from either input A0 or B0. Similarly, the output Y1 may have the value of A1 or B1 and Y2 may have value of A2 or B2 and finally Y3 can have a value from A3 or B3. The enable input must be active for the normal operation and if it has a value of 1, all the outputs are equal to 0. Because if you look at the circuit, this is based on active low logic. The circuit contains four 2 to 1 line multiplexers, which are more likely to view it as a circuit that selects one of the two 4 bit set of data lines. From the function table, which is shown here, we know that the unit is enabled when E equals to 0. And if S equals to 0, the four A inputs have a path to the four outputs. And if by contrast S equals to 1, the 4B inputs are applied to the output. An examination of the logic diagram of multiplexer reveals that it is essentially a decoder which includes an OR gate within the unit. And the min terms of the function are generated in a multiplexer by the circuit associated with the selection line. So the individual min terms can be selected by the data inputs thereby providing a method of implementing a boolean function of n variable with a multiplexer that has n selection input lines and 2 power n data inputs one for each min term so now we will study how to implement a boolean function with the help of multiplexer like earlier we were implementing a boolean function with the help of decoder now we will study a more efficient method for implementing a boolean function of n variable with the help of multiplexer that has n minus 1 selection input. If the given function consists of n variables, then the first n minus 1 variables of the function are connected to the selection input of the multiplexer. And the remaining single variable of the function is used for the data inputs. 
if the single variable is denoted by z then each data input of the multiplexer will be z z prime 1 or 0 to demonstrate this procedure consider the boolean function of three variable x y and z is equal to sum of min terms at 1 2 6 and 7 now this function of three variables can be implemented with 4 to 1 line multiplexer as shown in the figure because we have defined that for a n variable function n minus 1 variable will act as a select line so this is a three variable function so two variable will act as a select lines and this function will be implemented with 4 to 1 line multiplexer as shown in the figure the two variables x and y are applied to the selection line in order that x is connected to s1 input and y is connected to s0 input the values for the data input lines are determined from the truth table of the function now we will determine the values of data input for 4 to 1 line multiplexer which is in actual an implementation of a boolean function we will divide this table into two portions in first portion we will have x and y which will correspond to the value of select lines and in second portion we will try to develop a relation for the value of function corresponding to the select lines for instance if x and y both are equal to 0 then the function is equal to z because if z equals to 0 then function is equal to 0 and if z equals to 1 then function is also equal to 1 so the variable z is applied to data input 0 now the operation of multiplexer is such that when x and y both are 0 the data input 0 has a path to the output that makes f equals to z in the similar fashion we will determine the value of function for other values of select lines which are 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 if you look at the table when x y both are equal to 0 1 then function is equal to z prime because when z equals to 0 function have a value of 1 and when z is equal to 1 then function have a value of 0 in the third case when x and y equals to 1 0 then function have a value of 0 because whether z is equal to 0 or 1 in either cases function have a value of 0 and similarly in the last case when x and y equals to 1 then the function have a value of 1 this particular example shows that all the four possibilities that can be obtained for the data inputs now we will summarize a general procedure for implementing any boolean function of n variable with the help of multiplexer for a n variable function the first n minus 1 variables will be act as selection input and from 0 to 2 power n minus 1 data inputs follows from the previous example now before starting the implementation you will make a truth table of the given function then the first n minus 1 variable in the table are applied to the selection inputs of the multiplexer and for each combination of the selection variable we will evaluate the output as a function of the last variable the output function can be 0 1 the last variable or the complement of the last variable and these values are applied to the data inputs in the proper order and through this method we can implement any boolean function with the help of a multiplexer thanks for watching the video and stay connected for more interesting videos